Hello, welcome to C Sharp version 6 feature, part 7, exception filters in catch block brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn the exception filters in catch block. Right now, we'll understand it. Except, exception filters in catch block, it's one of the most important key feature present in the version 6 of C Sharp. And in the C Sharp version 5, you can observe there are sentences telling you we did not have any mechanism to filter the exception in the catch block. Therefore, we used if else statement in the same catch block to bring out some sort of filtering. So, what do you mean by that? You can observe here the, in this image, what we are trying to learn here is we are, we are having a variable called HTTP status code and the value as end is 402 and I'm pushing that HTTP status code to the try block and catch block is going to catch the exception. But inside the catch block, we are specifying the conditions. How do we specify it? We use if else block to catch the particular exception. So what we are doing is we are using the exception object ex dot message dot equal. Okay. And to that equal, we are passing the specified number. Once the number 402 matches with the specified message, uh, message uh, specified condition, specified conditions in the if block, it will print the particular uh, detail of it. Now, uh, here the status code is 402, 402 not equal to 500. So it just comes out of this and next it checks your ex dot message equals 401 that is 400 equal to 401 no, and the second is 402 equal to 402 yes obviously it's true and now the, it prints like payment required. Okay, this is how we did in C sharp version 5, but coming to C sharp version 6, you can observe rather than entering the cache block and checking to see which condition met our exception, we can now decide if you want to enter the cache specific cache block or not. In the sense, what we do in the C sharp version 5, in the cache block, we specified if else block to catch the specific exception, but instead of doing that in C sharp version 6, we'll check whether to enter the specific catch block or not. In the sense for the catch block itself, we are specifying the condition. If the, here you can observe like catch exception ex object when catch is exception when its message is equal to 400. Otherwise, it will push to the next catch and uh, it matches once the specified condition is met. Okay, here in this example, the uh, condition is 402 and the specific catch is uh, uh, cached exception is cached only the specific when the specific condition that 402 is met your the 402 is at the last and the respective line will be printed like payment required so without wasting time let us jump to visual studio visual studio and start coding for example let us see in c sharp version 5 how, they, how do they do it where uh, http status code the variable name is equals let me specify it to 402 okay and now let me uh, console dot it's right to print in the same line http I have to move it inside the brackets http status code okay now what I'll do I'll push the HTTP status code to the try block to check try um, let me through an exception to this exception let me pass that HTTP status code let me convert it into string format okay now in the cache block let me create an object of that exception class ex okay let me write the filters using the if else block if uh, ex dot message sorry ex dot message dot equals what I have to specify I let, let me specify some other thing here first I'll specify the 500 okay let me come inside this and let me write something console dot write let us see what what I have given to 500 let me jump back to presentation the 500 is or 400 whatever it is it's a bad request unauthorized okay bad request it is 400 it's a bad request okay let me come here and let me use else if loop what is the condition let me copy and paste it soon such that I can such that I should not waste the time control C control V and here it's 401 
and the message here is control C control V and it is unauthorized unauthorized let me copy this else block and let me paste it again uh, the message here is 402 okay and it is payment required okay now let me run this and if the specific exception will be caught only the when the message is equal to 402 and you can observe the builder started and it will print like HTTP status code uh, yeah spelling mistake okay let it be HTTP status code the payment required okay now what shall I do is let me change status sorry for that and let me add console dot read line let me run it again okay HTTP status code payment required okay now what did it do is it just checked what is the what is this variable consider of it consider 402 and you're passing pushing it to the try block and try block is allowing the catch block to catch the exception only when this 402 matches with this filters like your we are having the messages like equals 400 101 and 402 only when my uh, HTTP status code 402 matches with any one of these it printers printers the output like here as we are giving 402 and the 402 it's going to print like payment required and this is how we used filters within the catch block with the help of fills now let me show you how in C sharp version 6 uh, without the if without the use of if else loop uh, how they are trying to do it they are writing the specific condition to the catch block itself so when we run the application uh, it will check like which catch block to be caught first when the, when the condition is met instead of entering the catch block then specifying the fills loop now what we are doing is in the slide you can observe we are writing the exception or the condition to the catch block itself so that instead of entering the catch block the particular catch block will be called once so how to do that uh, it's very simple come back here let me remove all these things okay catch exception okay when okay. let me see it okay like within the brackets we have to give when ex dot message sorry it's message dot equals 400 okay here you come and write sorry it's console dot write what do you have to write it's like uh, what is the message for that 400 it's bad request okay and then the read line Okay, let me create some other catch blocks. Control C. Message is equal to 401 and it's unauthorized. Authorized. I have to paste it up. Control X. Okay. And if it is 402 and it is like payment required okay, now let me run this application it will be caught like payment required is to be to code now what we are doing is the previous example to this example here is what when the application runs what it will see is the message like 402 instead of entering the cache block as we did earlier we used if else loop to filter the exception but here we are writing the exception filter to the cache block itself so what the program does is uh, so when we run the program what happens is it will just see the cache block and also see the condition specified if the condition specifies it catches the specified cache block and print the sentence or else it, it will move to the it will move it will move to the next catch block that's what it happens in the c version 6 and that's what we call exception filters in the catch block and that's what we learned in this session 
and here is the code for that okay and finally thank you for listening have a great day and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and pro training and we are also on facebook you can like our page on www.facebook.com slash and we are also on twitter and for the further references you can refer our website and we are on linkedin too and finally don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day